Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to Trey Passer's Saturday Horror Reviews. Um, I bought this, I saw this off in my collection uh, this past Sunday, and um, this is a Dario Argentino three pack collection of his uh, famous films. And uh, the first movie up in this collection is The Cat of Nine Tales. This came out, I believe, in 1971. Okay, starring James Franciscus, uh, Carl Malden. Okay, and it basically takes place in Italy, of course, and it's a story about uh, Franco Arno, which is uh, played by Carl Malden. He's a blind former reporter uh, who lives with his niece. And uh, one day he's walking down the street with his niece, and he overhears a conversation between two men in a car. Uh, you can see one man, and then you have one man that's clearly in the shadows. Uh, and, you know, they're having this various con this, this conversa conversation, which he overhears, of course, his hearing is better since he's, you know, he's blind. And his, he tells his niece to stop for a minute and see if she can see who's in the car. And she tells him that she can only, he can only see one man, and the other man is in the shadows. Okay, and he's intrigued, but he, you know, continues on home. Okay, and then later that night we see uh, if they were walking in front of a medical institution that specializes in genetics. And you see a guard get knocked out, and the lab break, the lab broken into. Okay, the next day, you know, the cops come to investigate. You know, they find, you know, one of the doctors finds, you know, the security guard knocked out, and they call the cops, and the cops come up into the institute, you know, to interview them and find out what's, what's happening. And basically, the, you know, the head of the institution and his various uh, science people that work, doctors that work for him, tell him, listen, somebody broke in, of course, and attacked the guard, but nothing's been stolen, as far as anybody knows. Okay, and. You know, this is where James Franciscus' character comes comes into the story. He plays Carlo Giordani, who uh, you know is investigating. You know, comes to you know because this is a story of breaking at this famous institute. So he comes to investigate, and of course he runs into uh, Franco Arno. He kind of literally runs into him, literally outside the institute, and uh, he continues on his way. And later, yeah, you know, he gets a call from. Uh, actually, I think. Uh, Carl Malden's character visits him, I think, at the, at the newspaper and tells him, listen, he overheard this conversation, yeah, at this, and then, of course, later, these murders start, start happening for people, various people that are connected to the Institute, you know, you know, and people start dying by an unseen, you know, by an unseen murderer, okay, and, of course, you know, the reporter starts to investigate James Francisco, and, you know, Franco Arno explains to him how he was a former reporter, and he loves solving mysteries, and he loves solving puzzles, and he wants to help, and literally they start, they team up to try to find out, you know, who's committing these mur various murders that, you know, that, that start taking place. You know, people are starting to get connected to the Institute, are start, you know, basically starting to get murdered, and he's, you know, they're investigating to find, figure out, you know, what's going on and why, you know, and they go through various clues to find, figure out, and that's what the title of it. This refers to the cat of nine tales, you know, the various clues, the nine clues that they, you know, that they, you know, they gather out to figure out exactly what's going on, okay, and of course you have tons of suspects from the various people, that, you know, the doctors and the head of the institute, and he also has an attractive daughter, which is, who becomes sort of involved with James Francis's character, and of course in the meantime they're still trying to solve the murderers and, and find out, you know, who's doing this, and of course the murderer, even threatens them when he figures out that that they're tr that they're investigating him, okay. And I I like the movie. I thought it was entertaining, a little long, but I thought it was entertaining. I thought uh, James Franciscus and uh, Carl Malden made a great team, and I like you know Carl Malden was blind, but he like I said his mind was sharp as sharp as anything, and he was right on eager to investigate. And like I said, he loves solving puzzles, puzzles and mysteries. So. Of course, he was all for it, and, and I thought James Francis was good too. Is just you know, is the the co lead, I guess, in a way that he was um, trying, you know, investigating and interviewing, you know, of course, and becoming romantically involved with the uh, daughter of the head of the institute, and, and of course, them going through the various suspects to figure out exactly who's committing these murders. And I thought it had good suspense, and I also like you know the way Dario Argentino, you know, films. I guess that's style he films that kind of point of view from the killer. Okay, which I thought was really good, you know, and you, you, of course you keep the suspense to, you know, figure out, you know, who's doing it and what their motivation is, and I liked it, okay? I'm going to give, because uh, I also read that this is Jer Daniel Argentino, even though this film was financially successful, one of his most financially successful, he didn't like it that much, okay? But I, I enjoyed it, okay? I'm going to give 
Uh, the Cat or Nine Tails, a 7 out of 10. I thought it was a suspense. 7 out of 10. I thought it was suspenseful. And of course, you, you know, you're along with the reporters for the ride to figure out, trying to figure out who's the murderer and what their motivation is. I thought it was good. I thought they kept the suspense up and stuff. And of course, you worry about the heroes, whether they're going to get attacked by the killer or not. And I thought it was entertaining. So again, a 7 out of 10 for me. Now, uh, next week, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, of course, Deep Red, and then the week after Inferno, so I can get through this Dario Argentino collection. Okay, like I said, I'm always trying to beef up my horror collection. Again, Cat of Nine Tales, a 7 out of 10. I thought it was, I thought it was well done. Good suspense, good, good chemistry between the two leads, and suspense, suspense was there, and of course, you know, you have tons of suspects, so you know, with the reporters and stuff, trying to figure out exactly who the murderer is and what their motivation is. I thought, they, I thought that was done well. Okay, so again, a 7 out of 10 for the Cat or Nine Tales. Anyway, let me know what you think of the Cat or Nine Tales if you've seen it. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.